Greetings guitar fanatics, it's great to meet you or see you again, whichever the case may be. In this video, I want to share a simple secret to making your rock and blues solos sound fantastic. And the great news is, it's going to only require some small tweaks to something that you probably already know. Hey, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's play some guitar. So it's pretty universal. When we start trying to play lead guitar, we almost always start off with the minor pentatonic scale. And that's really great because there's only five notes. It's pretty easy to memorize, and we usually learn it in these two note per string box patterns up and down the fretboard. Now hopefully you've learned all five of them. And we set off learning and making up licks using these patterns, and it sounds great. But there's a simple way to make your licks and lines sound even better. And it's a concept you'll hear used everywhere by great players, not only in rock and blues, but country, jazz, bluegrass, you name it. So the concept is to mix the notes of the major and minor pentatonic scales. It's something I see all the time with students. They all seem to know the minor pentatonic, but they often really neglect its major counterpart, or they don't even know it exists. Let me show you what you can add to your sound by bringing the major pentatonic into your playing in three easy steps. First of all, let's take a quick look at how the scales are different. If we play through the minor pentatonic scale, and let's use A minor because everybody uses A minor, these are the notes that we get. We've got A, which is our root note. We've got C, which is our minor third, and that's super important. We've got D, which is our fourth. We've got E, which is the fifth, and we've got G, which is the flat seven. Now these notes work great over a major blues 1-4-5 progression. We've usually got the chords A7, D7, and E7. And the reason that scale works great is because we've got three chord tones of the A7. We've got A, E, and G. We've got three chord tones of D7. We've got D, A, and C. And then we've got two chord tones of E7, D, and E. So we can come up with all kinds of great licks and they sound nice and bluesy, but still there's something missing to my ear. By bringing a major pentatonic into our playing, we can really add some spice because we gain three extra notes. So what are the notes of a major pentatonic? Well, we've got a, which is, of course, our root again. We've got B, which is the second or the ninth. We've got C sharp, which is our major third. Big difference there. Then we've got E, and we've got F sharp. E is the fifth, and F sharp is the major sixth. So that's three new notes we can add into our licks. We've got B, which is the second or the ninth. We've got that C sharp, which is the major third. And we've got F sharp, which is the major sixth. Of those three, I define the major third as being the most important because you know the third interval will define a chord or a lick as major or minor, whether the third is major or minor. So by adding the major third into a blues lick, you can as I call it, convert that lick from minor to major. So here is our step number one. We're gonna be adding the major third to our licks. Step number one, adding the major third. Let's get started by playing through A minor pentatonic, the first pattern here at the fifth fret. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off by ascending through the pattern. And every time we come to a C note, which is our minor third, we're gonna follow it up by playing C sharp, which is our major third. So here we go, on the low E string, we've got A and C. We're gonna play C sharp there at the ninth fret. Then we're gonna to move to our A string. We've got D and E. We move to the D string, we've got G and A. Here we go to the G string. We've got a C, follow that up with C sharp and D. And on our B string, we've got E and G. On the high E string, we've got A and C. And then another C sharp there at the ninth fret. So I'll play through that a little more fluidly and it sounds like this. So 
So right away, we can hear that minor to major shift happen. And it sounds really great, but there's something else that starts to happen almost immediately because we're adding an extra note into that five note pentatonic pattern. The lines start to sound more fluid and slippery, if you will, even if we're just playing through the scale. There's just a little more music there. You hear that little bit of chromaticism. So let's descend through the pattern now, starting with the high E string. We're going to do something slightly different. We're going to start off on the minor third, the C note at the eighth fret. We're going to play that first, and then we're going to slide into our C sharp, and then continue down to the A note. So we got this. Then we're going to continue descending through the pattern. We've got the notes on our B string, G and E. Now we get to the G string. We've got D. We're going to go to our minor third, then up to the major third, C sharp. Put that all together so far. Now down to the D string, we've got A and G. We've got E and D on our A string. We've got our minor third, C at the eighth fret of our low E. We go up to our C sharp and then down to our root note, the A. Putting that all together fluidly. So after playing through the scale in that way, it's already apparent how much more fluid and sophisticated it sounds. And it starts to be really easy to make up licks like this. So with that one simple step, we're already up and running with a new sound and a whole new potential for a library of cool licks. So let's move on to step number two, which is adding the major sixth. So adding the major sixth in the key of A, F sharp is the major sixth. So this time we're gonna start off descending through A minor pentatonic, pattern one at the fifth position here. And I'm gonna play downward and as I get to the major sixth, I'm gonna pause a little bit. So we've got our notes on the high E string. Go to our B string, we've got a G note. There's that major sixth, F sharp's at the seventh fret of the B string, continuing on down through the scale. got an F sharp at the ninth fret of our A string. And I went on down to the F sharp there at the second fret of the low E just to sort of prove a point and get that sound in your ears. So once again, just adding that one new note makes the scale sound new and fresh and we can start to play licks like this. Now let's really have some fun. Let's combine steps one and two. So we're gonna play through our scale and we're gonna add the C sharp and the F sharp. So descending. Really cool sound. So let's mess around with that a little bit and see if we can come up with some cool licks. Say if we take Oh, just like a, the standard pentatonic and play just a typical little blues lick. Let's add in our major sixth and our major third this time. Very different, very cool. So things are starting to sound really awesome, which leads us to step number three, which is adding in the B or the ninth. So adding the ninth in the key of A, the second or the ninth is our B note. So let's play through A minor pentatonic pattern one at the fifth fret, and we're gonna add the ninth each time we come to it. On the low E string, we've got A, there it is, B, C, on we go D and E on the next string, we've got G and A on the next string, I'm gonna play that B note at the fourth fret of our G string, then we've got C and D, we've got E and G on the B string, then A and B on our high E, 
and then we've got our C note. So that ninth, it's just, it's a really great tonality, whether we're just kind of passing over it in a lick like this. Or we might play a lick where we really sit on that note to emphasize the tonality. And of course, you know what's coming next. We're gonna combine all three steps to make up some licks. Now here's an ascending lick using just the notes of A minor pentatonic. Now, here's essentially the same lick, but I'm gonna add in F sharp was our major sixth and the B, which is the ninth. So let's really turn this thing into a party and we're gonna add in our major third. So let's take, again, just a generic blues lick. I'm gonna start at the G note on the D string at the fifth fret. And basically ascended through the scale till I got to the C, went back down and did a little slide from the G note at the eighth fret into A at the 10th fret of the B string. Yeah, sounds okay. Now, we're gonna take that same thing. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our C sharp at the sixth fret of our G string. Already sounds more cool. Then we're going to go ahead and ascend. We've got that F sharp on the seventh fret of our B string. We play up to the B note, which is our ninth on the seventh fret of our high E string. Finish it off with that same little slide. So we go from this to something like this. Which again, just a lot more music, a lot more sound, a lot more inflection really cool and it's pretty dang simple so as always thanks for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel and you guys keep practicing i'm going to keep making these videos to help you make sense of soloing see you later